guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is grace make sure you definitely subscribe down below so for today's video i'm sure by seeing this video you've already probably watched my explanation video but if you're super confused by the title i definitely recommend you to go watch my explanation video i'll link it up here and in the description box today i'm going to my pre-op appointment for my sinus surgery and everything going on with my nose so yeah I thought I would bring you guys along because I know like I have done I have watched a ton of other youtubers videos and they've been super helpful as far as like advice and just seeing kind of what goes on so I thought I would vlog this for you guys if you have any negative comments or opinions please just click off the video because they aren't really welcome everyone has the right to do whatever they want so if you are going to just spread negativity just click off now and don't watch the video and if you're wondering why I'm doing this go watch my explanation video but let me show you guys my outfit real quick so I just threw on a black crop top and then these shorts are from Shein and then I just have on a belt and yeah my hair is literally hasn't been washed in a few too many days so yeah I'm about ready to go um I want to show you guys what I did real quick because it's kind of funny so I'm gonna prop you guys up real quick so basically as far as like all the cosmetic surgery because my surgery is primarily if you watched my explanation video you know my surgery is primarily because of a lot of breathing issues I have you can literally like, hear it in my voice because I always sound congested and my nose is always like stuffy but as far as cosmetic surgery I explained I wasn't originally getting cosmetic surgery but then once I figured out you could do it like while he's already doing everything else I was like why not so I printed out like my Pinterest inspo pics for him so he has this so I just thought that was funny so thought I would show you guys that time to hit the road I'm literally out of breath because I was just running up and down the stairs since I'm 19 though I technically like don't need an adult there since I am an adult so my mom isn't allowed to come because of everything going on with coronavirus and my surgery had already been it was supposed to be actually in April but it got pushed out because of this but my mom isn't allowed so I'm just gonna be facetiming her hopefully they let me vlog it though so I wanted to kind of elaborate a little bit more because I didn't have much time to talk when I was in my house. Also, my bun is so ugly. Basically, I am getting my nose fixed. If you have anything negative to say, just don't watch this video. Or if you're in kind of the same situation as me, either getting like sinus surgery or something like that, or you're actually just getting like a cosmetic nose job, I'm gonna have a little series here for you to watch. So get pumped, but I'm gonna drive to my doctor's office and hopefully crossing my fingers that he'll let me vlog it or at least like vlog myself and just like what's going on like talking wise hi hi grace how are you good, good. nice to see you nice to see you Boy, it's been a long time. I know. What an odyssey. But look at this crazy stuff that happened in the meat. Are you guys doing okay? Yeah, I have my mom on face. I'm also Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, there. Good. Well, um, a lot of things um, are a little bit different, and we'll go over this as time goes on. Um, because she's not a minor, um, I don't know if they'll let you in the recovery room post-operatively. Right now, they're only letting parents of minors. She gets to sign her name on all those little permits and so on, <laughs> which is a little scary, I know. Um, but it's it's part of life. Surgery is going to be a couple of hours. She'll be in the uh, operating room with me uh, for that period of time. And then in the recovery room, usually about an hour to an hour and a half, depending upon how she wakes up. The anesthetics we use are pretty light, and so um, they come out of it pretty quickly. Okay? okay, they've got great anesthesia there, and then you'll see me before surgery. You'll meet the anesthesiologist beforehand. They'll ask you lots of questions and go over the anesthetic. They're really good down there. You'll like them. Nancy, my nurse, is there. She assists me in all my uh, surgeries, so um, she'll be kind of working with you afterwards okay. a little bit too. Remember, <clears throat> as we uh, have talked about, I'm sure, nothing to eat or drink after midnight. Okay. That's called NPO. And um, that means water everything. So we don't want anything in her stomach. The anesthesiologists are pretty 
firm about canceling if there's anything in your stomach. Okay. Um, try to avoid aspirin, Motrin, Advil for the week before and the week after. And then we're gonna send over two prescriptions, pain medicine, You'll probably use a few of them that afternoon. Typically by bedtime, most of the discomfort's gone and you just feel stuffy. Antibiotic, you'll start that that evening, so Thursday night. Here's your instruction sheet. This is for afterwards. So the saline spray, you're gonna start that on Saturday. And so you give me all that stuff? No, you get this oh, at, okay. the, at the pharmacy. So okay. when you pick up your prescriptions, get these two items. Okay. You're going to start these on Saturday. So you'll start using the saline rinse Saturday. Saturday? Five, no, after surgery. Oh, okay. This is all after surgery. Okay. Use your post-operative instruction. Saline rinse that following Saturday. You're welcome to start it early <laughs> if you want, but this is a lot of work. So yeah. five or six times a day, every other time use the bacitration, okay. okay? They'll send you home with a little ice pack. She can do a saline spray. Isn't she going to pack no, so we don't use packing much anymore, and if there's any up there, it's dissolving and it goes away with the saline spray. Oh, so there's nice. no packing to take out, that's the nice thing. You're still going to be stuffy and congested, but you will get some air through there, okay? Oh, okay. Now you oh. will have a little bloody discharge for two or three days, and they'll send you home with a little gauze underneath your nose and show you how to change that. So bloody discharge for two or three days, a little bit of air through there, no packing. The splint on the outside will take off a week later, the following Thursday, and then you will get some good shiners. So it looks like you went six rounds with Mike Tyson and lost, okay? Um, that goes away typically at about a week to eight days. When we take the uh, splint off, if there's any left, my nurse can uh, laser any residual bruising and it goes away quicker. I'll also give you some Arnica tablets that you can take afterwards. Okay. And then I also wanted to know is like showering. Yep, you can here? do that. Just try to keep your uh, splint dry. Okay. A lot of people, if you're going to wash your hair, just put a little washcloth over your nose and then okay. just help, have mom help you wash okay. it in the bathtub. That's fine. But you take a shower the next day. Um, just lay low on exercise. Don't do anything yeah. too exertional for about a week to 10 days. You can take some nice gentle walks if you want. You might try to sleep with your head a little bit elevated. Okay. okay. Don't lie flat because you get more swelling and bleeding. Yeah. I like to call you that evening, so if one of you will answer your cell phone that we have so that we can just check on you and make mm -hmm. sure everything's okay. Uh -huh. All right. They are requiring COVID testing mm -hmm. on everyone, so they'll probably either do it Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Gonna shrink the turbinates. So we're gonna straighten the septum, leave it right in the middle, and we're gonna shrink the turbinates, and then let's pull your mask down and let's talk about the outside things that you would like to do. And I'm gonna take some pictures. Yeah. So we're gonna take a look at the sinuses, mom, and we'll look at the openings. And if there's anything that's blocked or the opening is too small, we'll make them just a little bit bigger. Oftentimes we use a little balloon to do that. She won't even be aware of us being up there. That's the smallest part of it. The most uh, uh, uncomfortable part is the septum and the outside part. Yeah, and that's where you get the bruising too. From my notes, we talked about a little bit of a bump here. Yeah. It's a little bit firm right there. You can actually feel it right there yeah. and a little bit right here as well. So we'll just smooth that down on both sides. You don't really have much on the side profile. You look really good there, but you're just a little bit angled and sharp there. You are a little wide right here. Yeah. I would suggest narrowing, and you seem a little wider on this right side than on the left. So we'll just bring that in. Mm -hmm. When you bring that in, then the tip will look even wider. So yeah. we would want to define the tip and make it just a little bit narrower like that. You have a pretty good angle from the side. I wouldn't want you to go up too much. Yeah, I think the only that thing that bugs funny. me is when I smile, it mm -hmm. kind of droops. Pulls down. Yeah. And what I do is I release the little muscle right there, and that muscle is what pulls the tip down. Big smile for me. So this muscle pulls the tip down, and that is sort of an age-related event, so that as we get older, our tips drop a little bit, and that's why it looks like our nose is growing. It's not. It's just gravity. So we're going to do that to sort of create a little scar tissue so that it holds up. We don't want it to go up too yeah. much, but we don't want it to come down when you smile. And that's obviously where you're seeing yourself when you look in mm -hmm. pictures and you're smiling with everyone. Just a smidge. Because yep. I don't have like yep. a huge yep. bump, but now, I don't have like a slow now, motor. Yeah, okay, good. So you like this one better. Yeah, okay. and I feel like that's more kind of my yeah. shape. And this might be a bit 
a bit much. That almost looks like the same. This looks good. That, um, I, I do like that. I think that would mm -hmm. look good on you. So I just printed that out so you'd have some. Gotta keep it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. keep good. it. Good. Well, you know, the, the important thing is, is we want it to still look natural as exactly. she ages. You know, it can look kind of cute right now, but you know, if you're 50 years old and it looks like, you know, kind of a little pug nose, mm -hmm. you won't be happy. So let me take a quick peek at the inside while we've got your mask down and then I'm going to take some pictures. The left in fear today is three, the right is one. Thank you so much. See you next week. Yes, I'll see you next okay. week. Okay. 315 on July 2nd? Okay guys, I just got out of my appointment. I am so excited. It went so good. He knows exactly what I want. So basically I showed you guys the little printout that I made and he told me which ones right away like would not work with my nose. And then he was like, this one looks like it, like you, there was two that he was like, these two look like they would look really good on your nose. So I'm so excited. I think he's gonna do really good as far as like the cosmetics, obviously. He knows what I want, but then obviously the main priority is my breathing. They don't put like the packing up your nose anymore. So I'm gonna be able to breathe like it's gonna be stuffy but I'm gonna be able to breathe out of my nose because I was expecting to like be full-on mouth breathing so I'm super pumped for that but I'm gonna go get Starbucks because it's still pretty early in the morning and I haven't eaten yet and my favorite nurse was there shout out to Annalise if you're by chance watching this but she's literally my favorite nurse okay guys so I just got home I got my Starbucks but I think that's gonna be it for this video um, I'm not gonna like vlog the rest of my day because I want to keep this like whoa I want to keep this like a pre-op video in case people are like watching this just to look into it. So I'm going to have more videos coming. So what I'm thinking the order of the videos once they do go up because I'm pre-filming a bunch right now. Obviously since I won't be able to like film once I'm like impaired. The order I'm thinking the videos are going to go up are going to be the explanation video first. Then this video which you're seeing the pre-op. And then following that should be the surgery video. I don't know if that's going to be split into two videos or one like long one yet so I'm not sure but by the time this is up it'll probably be like almost going up so make sure you definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my nose content I'll probably be doing updates throughout the months because noses take like a full year to be them true selves or something like that so I'll probably do updates every month for you guys so if you want to keep up with those subscribe turn on my post notifications that type of thing make sure also following me on my Instagram I post all the time over there so make sure you're following me over there and thank you guys so much for watching again I hope you guys are able to support me again if you don't have anything nice to say or you don't agree with what I'm doing that's fine your opinion is valid as is my opinion if you are going through anything and doing something similar to me or have questions by the time this video is up I'm already gonna have had the surgery all that good stuff so I'll be able to answer questions of course and I'll probably be a few weeks out of surgery by the time this video is up so if you have any questions DM me on Instagram I try to respond to as many as I can it is hard because I do get a lot but I do try my best to reply so yeah that's going to be it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys